Welcome, and for now me is a Motorola Edge 50 Pro, and today I will show you how you can import your contacts from the SIM card to the device. So to get started, you want to open up your standalone contacts application like this one, which is located in the Google folder. From there, uh, by default, you'd usually be uh, on the page where you have contacts, uh, with probably a little bit less garbage showing up on your uh, screen compared to me. Uh, I do want to also clarify, right now uh, all these contacts are lo located on the Google account that I have signed in on the device. I could also display contacts from the device, which I have one contact on there. So anyway, with that being said, to import our contacts, we're going to first navigate to Organize. And then you want to select Manage SIM. And as you can see, this displays automatically all the contacts that are located on a SIM card. Now for me, all of these contacts are almost all are grayed out and deselected. The reason for that is, is because basically all of them already exist on the Google account, which it selects by default. So if you have a Google account sign in, it will choose that by default. If you don't have a Google account logged in, this option will just not be existent here at all. So you will see manage SIM and right under manage SIM, you'll actually see your first contact. Uh, now, if you have some account signed in, you can also tap on a drop down and change where the device will import these contacts to. So, um, you have the Google account and a device option. Now, like I mentioned, if you don't have a Google account, uh, the reason there is no drop down menu is because it automatically chooses the only option that is available to you, which is the device. Now, me, when I select the actual device as an import location, as you can see, all the contacts become selected right now and also aren't grayed out anymore, so I can do whatever I want with them. Anyway, from here we can select import, and this will import all the selected contacts, and when we go back to our contacts list, assuming you have also imported it into some different location that it's being displayed uh, right now, you might need to change it, so click right here on this icon, device, and you can see now we have five contacts instead of the one that was previously visible in here. So anyway, with that being said, hopefully you found this video helpful, and if you did, don't forget to smash like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.